morning reading unit one. I encourage you to take moments during your own time to examine the illustrations, the captions, and graphic organizers on any pages between 8 and 96. What are the things that look familiar to you? What are things that do not? What are some things that excite you? Which ones are you a little hesitant to learn more about? Unit 1 is about key ideas and details in informational text. That means that all the passages we read for the next few weeks will be nonfiction. They are about things that really happened in the past, or give us information about how to do something or teach us about something. Whether you have always enjoyed reading these types of books or articles, or have chosen to read other types of literature in the past, I hope you will gain some strategies to help you whenever you read an informational text. And more so, find a type of nonfiction text that appeals to you. Page 8 together. At any point, if you would rather read something yourself, feel free to pause and or fast forward. Otherwise, feel free to follow along. Unit 1. Key ideas and details in informational text. How are readers like detectives? For starters, both readers and detectives are curious. Just as a detective asks questions and hunts for clues, a good reader looks for key ideas and details in a text. Being detective-like is important when reading history, science, technical, and other informational text. Sometimes the answers to questions about key ideas and details will be as clear as footprints in the sand. They can lead a detective right to a solution. Other times you need to read between the lines, or footprints, to find an answer not directly stated in the text. In this unit, you'll learn to recognize how one event leads to another and how one thing can cause another to happen. You'll also be practicing putting together what you read with what you know to come up with new ideas. With this reading skills, you'll be on your way to solving the mystery of the main idea, what a text is all about. So read like a detective. Pick up your magnifying glass, or rather your book, and start reading. To self-check. Before starting this unit, check off the skills you know below. As you complete each lesson, see how many more skills you can check off. In a moment, I'm going to ask you to pause the video to look at this checklist. It's important to know that it's okay to leave a spot blank. If you are unsure what something means, leave it blank. If you think you can only do something a little bit, it's still okay to leave it blank. No one is going through your checklist. It is to help you see if there are things you already feel comfortable with, and even more, so you can look back at the end of a unit and see how much you've grown or can continue to do so. Pause the video now and take just a few moments to read each item and either put a check in the before column or leave it blank. You should not put anything in the after column. So, check, blank, check, whatever applies to you. Lesson one, finding main ideas and details. Now what's important to note is that every time we start a new lesson, you're going to know exactly what the objective is in this section called the learning target. What else uh, the book gives you is up here. This is actually our California State Standard, RL 4.2. Determine the main idea of a text and explain how it is supported by key details. This perhaps is the most important lesson in the entire unit. Whenever someone builds a house, they have to make sure there is a strong foundation. They may remove rocks, flatten the dirt, and even put out some concrete. If the foundation isn't strong, the house may be slanted and potentially fall. This lesson is that foundation. You'll be looking for main ideas and details in every type of informational text in this unit. What's nice, though, is that even if a house's foundation isn't perfect, you can keep making adjustments and improving it until it's ready to build the house. Don't feel you have to be an expert by the end of this week. Try and learn a little bit and continue growing and mastering each week. Though we'll have the opportunity to read most pages and selections together, I encourage you to take some of your own time and read some in advance. Use the strategy of putting checks by words and phrases you are unfamiliar with. Take the initiative in your own learning so you feel comfortable participating and know what questions you have that will best help you get a better understanding of what we're working on. Let's look at page 10. Lesson 1. Finding Main Ideas and Details Our learning target. Identifying the biggest, most important idea about a topic and the details that tell more about that idea 
will help you understand an informational text. Read. As you read an informational text, figure out the point or what the author wants you to understand about a topic. The main idea, the most important idea, is what the text mostly tells about a topic. Key details support the main idea by giving important facts, examples, and other information that explain more about it. In an informational text, an author often states the main idea early in a paragraph or passage. Key details that say more about the main idea usually follow right after. So looking at this page, you can already see that we have some key terms. Main idea, the most important idea, key details, important facts, examples, and other information that support the main idea. They go hand in hand. Whenever you find a main idea, you want to know what the key details are that support that. Whenever you see key details, you want to see what are they all talking about, and that's usually your main idea. Introductory selection. It says, read the passage below. Underline the main idea. What key details support the main idea? Underline the main idea. What key details support the main idea? This is called Lewis and Clark's Faithful Companion. When Lewis and Clark explored the western United States, a dog named Seaman protected them. One night, a large buffalo came near their tent. Seaman chased the buffalo away. Another night, a grizzly bear entered their camp. Seaman barked and barked at the bear. He barked until the bear ran away. Seaman also protected Lewis and Clark by making sure they had food. Every day, Seaman hunted squirrels for the men to eat. Take a moment and underline what you think might be the main idea. Let's take a look. The title of a selection often will help us find the main idea. It's called Lewis and Clark's Faithful Companion. Their faithful companion was the dog. That's why we also have this picture here. So our main idea is probably going to be something about their faithful companion, the dog named Seaman. Well, we have a dog named Seaman. Protected them. Okay, that seems possible. It's about the dog and about what he does. Now, are there some key details that might support that, that the dog protected them? Well, a buffalo came near their tent and it was chased away. A grizzly bear entered and it was barked until it ran away. And it protected them by making sure they had food. Those are each key details that show that he protected them. On page 11, just wanted you to notice that on the top of page 11, it says theme, people and their animals. So every selection or excerpt from lesson one will be people and animals. Now the directions say, think. Use what you've learned about reading informational text to identify two key details that support the main idea of the passage. Complete the chart by adding two more details. So as you can see, the main idea is exactly what we came up with. Lewis and Clark's dog, Seaman, protected the explorers. Now they've already chosen one for us. Key detail, Seaman chased away a buffalo. Well, if we look back at our selection, we have chased away the buffalo. We also said a grizzly bear entered the camp. Now that is not a detail about Seaman. That's just something that happened in the selection. Instead, Seaman barked at the bear until the bear ran away. That is an example of what the dog does that protects the explorers. And finally, Seaman also protected Lewis and Clark by making sure that they had food. So we could leave it at that, protected them by making sure they had food, or being specific, Seaman hunted squirrels so that they had food. So moving down on page 11, let's go ahead and add those that text. It should look something like this. You have a main idea and you have key details. Remember, this is a skill we're going to be practicing all this week and all this unit. Every time you're reading an informational text, and really any text in general, you want to think about what is the main idea or goal that the author is hoping the reader can take away, and what is the evidence, details, examples that support that. In order to practice that, I encourage you to do a quick write. Think about a time when you got help from someone, 
a human, or an animal. Your main idea will be the sentence that tells who helped you and when. Then support it by providing two or three key details about what happened. Remember, think about a time where you got help and then support it with key details that show that thing was being helpful. Additionally, when you have time, go and complete the Google form to show that you really understood what was going on today, or if you need to follow up with any questions during virtual hours.